Well, good afternoon or evening or whatever time you're watching this video. Where's my glasses? I have to do it occasionally to be able to see what the hell I'm doing. I didn't always wear glasses. I didn't start having to wear glasses until I turned 50, which was about 17 years ago. So it was really nice not having these damn things, but well, anyway, getting old. All right, another day. Let's get busy. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make a ar new armature for this arm and this arm. Eighth inch copper tubing, but I can't be certain on that, so don't take it to the bank. But anyway, anyway, so much for this head. You can see the difference in heads. I, I this one was terrible. Glad to get rid of that. First thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to stick this into the clay, and I want it to uh, have the ability to stay where I put it, I'm bending the end of it. Okay, I've got the two arms made. One for one side, one for the other. And now I'm going to take this arm. i got to cut it off because it's part of the structure that goes down through his body to uh, keep him from falling over. And I'm going to just cut it off right there and uh, put that aside. Heat up the uh, end with a lighter. And what that does is just heats it up so it'll melt into the clay. Since the clay is an oil-based clay and whatever else is in it that allows it to heat up and melt. Okay, now I got that arm just about where I want it. I'm going to press in on the clay. Uh, when that cools, it will stay in place, hopefully. All right, now I'm just adding a tube of clay onto the arm. It just It's just a faster way of surrounding the uh, wire. And what I do is I, I just roll a piece of clay, split it down the uh, center, and then just wrap it around the arm. Here in a second, I'm doing I'm just, like I said, split the uh, clay. And then just wrap it around the uh, arm. Uh, first I'm going to cut off the part that I don't need. That's at the wrist. Alright, now I'll just uh, wrap it around the wire.
The reason I'm uh, putting blank sound, in other words, just my background sound as, I, as I'm working, on my speeded up version of me sculpting is because there are a lot of people in foreign countries that can't watch my videos because the music may be embargoed in those countries. And so I, uh, I've decided to, uh, in the future, just put uh, my natural sound on the video when I'm working uh, in high speed, which you are watching right now. And that way, friends across the ocean can see all my episodes without uh, missing any of them if they want to see them. I decided to get the uh, body as close to being done before I put the wolf skin on as I can. I'm not going to worry about doing all the back uh, and stuff like that because, quite honestly, it's going to be all covered with the, the wolf skin. I'm more interested in the front where the wolf skin is not going to be, or it will partially be. I like this this positioning of the robe a lot better. It doesn't overpower the whole piece. It doesn't overpower the figure. It doesn't overpower the horse. I think what I'm going to do is start putting the mane of the horse on and getting him finished up. Um, and then come back to the wolf robe after I get all that done and see how I feel about it. I also want to uh, uh, put less of a uh, support underneath here. So I might have to go over to the studio and, and get some... wooden dowels to do that with. But I'm liking the way it's coming out right now. And it's, like I said, not uh, looking overdone. Let's see what the braid would look like if I were to put it on.
I kind of like that. I, what I do is I have the braid going underneath the tie here, but not on the underneath the tie over here. And uh, don't ask me why, but I just decided to do it that way. All right. Like I said, I'll come back tomorrow. And uh, all right, that's going to be uh, pretty much it for today. And uh, we'll pick this up uh, in the next episode.